straighten your back up. Chin up, look to the left, bring your shoulder back just slightly, relax him. Smile, look comfortable, chin up again, stay right there, don't move else your shirt's going to wrinkle. Now smile, now not too big. Can we get some hecklers somewhere in here to loosen this guy up? And that was my first experience as a photography model. I'm Kellen with Landwater Light, where we help luxury homeowners achieve resort style living. In this video, I'll go over what it was like working with Cherry Lau from Citizen Best and the very talented photographer Casey Dunn to, that helped us capture the essence of our team in action and how we collaborate, as well as getting some top-notch photography headshots out of the deal. So let's get started. Well, I'm excited to welcome Welcome back, Chris and Cherry from Citizen Best. Uh, we're here to talk about photography. That's uh, we. This is a new experience for me. I, of course, I, I, I've had you know almost two decades of shooting myself, and I'm always behind the camera. But it was a whole new experience to be in front of the camera and um, go through the exercise and really the process of making the photography enforce our brand and really make it um, something unique and special. So thanks to both of you for uh, joining me on this. Um, why don't we just kind of cover the, the early stages? Why is photography so important to an enduring brand, especially a, a visual one? And what were kind of those early steps in procedures for that? Well, photography is important because it is one of the key components in helping tell the story of your brand, right? Whether it is projects that you completed or the story around your service offering or even just highlighting your team member and your company culture. People want to see that and then photo really allow for the emotional connections, right? Um, for your brand. So when we started the project, you know, you guys have really beautiful photography to begin with. So we want to make sure that whatever we create can really feel seamless, right? From a product photo, um, project photo, the culture, more, more culture forward photo. So we started by looking at um, inspiration, pulling together mood boards, looking at lighting direction. That was one of the very important components, especially when you have light in your name. Yeah. That, has, that has really come through um, uh, in a best representation. So we were exploring that, looking at the backdrop, you know, how in situation do we want to be? Do we want to take a picture of your team in studio versus on location? Um, so keeping the, the overarching storyline in mind and also keeping in mind of how these photos will be used, where they're going to be used on the website, potentially on future collateral marketing material presentations. Right, so we want to keep the usage in mind to really maximize the spend in a way. Sure. Um, and also when we go into capturing a photo on set, the orientation of the photo is going to be a key as well. You know, something vertical, something horizontal, where it's going to be used. So um, going back to the process, we pull together mood boards. We work with you and your team in, in collaborating around like, is this the right vibe you want, you know, and the two very distinct direction. And you guys have a pretty good idea of what luxury, um, where you want your brand to be. So having the clear feedback from you really help us um, navigate the process to the finish line. And once we landed on um, the overarching directions, lighting, mood and tone, um, settings, then we go into the um, the logistical side, like who's going to be for photographing this, finding the right photographer, finding the right crew um, for the, the production crew is also comp uh, crucial, right? So we work with um, Casey Dunn, who is a um, very talented photographer, um, collaborating with him and also Adam Fortner, um, the stylist, and, and the rest of their crew as well to really bring this vision to life. So throughout the process, you know, we're looking at um, details around locations, what's going to be in the shot, everything from um, staging, books, plants, pencil you know like bringing bringing your brand color into into play in the setting and also looking at wardrobe making sure that everybody looks good on camera on the day of the shoot so all of that logistic is planned ahead of time so when we go on set 
we're just focusing on execute because we're doing that in a certain amount of time frame. Chris, we were talking earlier. Your your role on a lot of the shoots is kind of that uh, you know pr producer role. What what? One thing I was surprised about as we went into this process, usually it's just me and a camera or a photographer, me and a camera, but there's a lot of people involved between prop stylists, which honestly, that was a new experience for me of like really getting into those level of details. Our team who and we have a lot of high detail perfectionists, we're kind of cracking up that we're moving a pencil about a half an inch and rotating it about 10 degrees to, to get these shots just, just perfect. Um, so what, what's, uh, what, what do you typically play in, in these sort of shoots? We, you know, kind of the production route, the organization. How, how important is it for the organization and the whole process and experience to you know creating a, uh, a really good shoot at the end of the day? All the details add up to make an incredible final shot is how we like to think of it. And so the, the photographer and Cherry, the creative director, they're, they need to be completely focused on the final result, that creative result to just get that image. And knowing that if we can think of every detail that goes into it, whether that's the location, the prop stylist, wardrobe, makeup, um, the um, even just simple logistics so the day goes much easier like having breakfast ready and lunch ready and all those items they become all line items on a budget but all those items add up to create um, that much better of a production and, and finally that much better of better photography and that's that level of uh, finish and quality that you're looking to get to and and that's really the difference in, in doing these higher, more extensive photo shoots versus just like you said, of just versus just grabbing a camera and seeing kind of what you can shoot that day. It's not to say that the other approach is good or bad. It's just when we're trying to get that level of photography that requires that level of planning. And that's the only way to do it is to think of every one of the details down to those line items on a budget. Cherry, when we were talking about you know finding that photographer, I know we had a bunch of options and Ultimately, we went with uh, someone that is a, a pretty big name in, in Aria, Casey Dunn. He does a lot of the really high-end architecture shoots, and it was um, it was a very it was a tough choice trying to figure out who to go with. But why was the, the, why is this selection of the particular photographer so important to making sure that that final result fits and has the right aesthetic for the whole project? Oh, it's so important. You know, when I look at photographer or presenting options right to to our clients in this case you um, we want to keep in mind that this this photographer have the level of experience and example in his photography in his book that represent the lighting and the feel and the emotion um, in ways that he capture subject whether it's portrait photography or on locations, you know, capturing buildings. There was a lot of details that resonate resonated with me that I saw in Casey's work and it was, you know, the right choice and he was really wonderful to collaborate collaborated with and also his crew too. They're all highly experienced and really um, through the collaborations we're able to identify a lot of details and kind of pivot on set and problem solve. Because there are variables when you're on locations, right? You're planning for a beautiful lighting day and then all of a sudden like rain clouds rolled in. Like, how do you navigate around that? And with experienced crew, they, they, they would know. So it allow us to get to the outcome and the visions that, um, that aligns with the overall creative direction. Casey's team was incredible. Um, Emily, who was uh, the producer on site, you know, made sure that everybody was comfortable. Um, and you know, we, we we even started like a heckling sort of thing. Like if anybody started getting uptight, we'd start you know harassing each other and, and trying to get everybody relaxed because it's a uh, it's it's a tough challenge because you're trying to stay in one's position and. And then you know, make sure that you're not moving too much, and everybody's you know adjusting the pencils on the table or the you know the paper or something that's not quite right or a wrinkle on your clothing. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really um, it was fun. I, I will tell you, at the end of the whole experience, 
everybody was energetic. We went out, you know, for, for drinks afterwards and, and that sort of thing and had kind of a team bonding experience. But it was so special, at least from kind of my side, right, from the uh, CEO side of a company to kind of be able to share that because no one on my team had had headshots. I think one person had kind of well, this corporate one and done, take care of it, move on sort of headshots, but n nothing that was, you know, with prop stylists and makeup and hair and, and all of those right. things. And and I, I can say, you know, trying to get all of those things done and all of those shots done, you know, Cherry was great, you know, making sure the aesthetics were there and then you had production keeping that together and then ev all the grips and lighting people. I mean, a lot got done very quickly and, and it was it was a fun experiment. I think it, um, or experience. I, I think one of the, my highlights was during one of the collaboration shots, we were trying to stay relaxed. So we were coming up with all sorts of uh, design programs to keep T-Rexes out of from eating chickens. And, and it just became this like really devolving um, kind of funny design charrette that, as we were just trying to relax and crack jokes with each other. But it was, it was cool to see you know, th this team come together and actually enjoy something and, and just get to share a unique experience that way. So yeah. thank you all so much for, for sure. that. Cause I think that sure. with the wrong team, that could have been a lot different and um, a lot less uh, comfortable of an experience. Thank you. And we can really see that on set, right? Like me and the photographer, we were noticing the energy shift, you know, as the day goes and you guys really had fun and your company culture really comes through um, in terms of how you interact with one another. And we were able to capture that. So at the end, we have lots of beautiful photography that will be used on your website and your other materials. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm super excited to keep keep using those, and uh, we who knows we might we might have some more. Um, thank you so much, Chris and Cherry, again for taking the time to meet with me. Uh, very excited about Rebrand Week here, and um, let's uh, we'll we'll continue on and get some get some more things done. Wonderful, Great. thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thank y'all. Have All a good right. day.